Hey everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be modeling this part. Let's open a new part and model it step by step together. In the front plane we create a sketch and then here I'm going to place first a rectangle and then I will create here one line and one another line here. This both is construction geometry and one another line here. Now let's start to give our the dimensions. In total is 80. Here we have a 5. Diameter here 55. To be able to get the uh, diameter dimensions you need to use one uh, line here and you need to go beyond the line. And here again 30 and outer dimension is 60 everything is black that means we can go ahead everything selected excess of revolution this one and thin feature should be removed and the, col uh, the contour that we are going to use is that one uh, we look from the surface normal to and we will cut here one keyway. It's good that we use also here a construction line. The construction line is always convenient. Helps you to get rid of the unnecessary relation giving. And from here to here is 17 and a half. Something that's black. And simply we can say program coincident to here. Now we are going to cut through all and it is done. Now we look from front plane again and create here one sketch. And then that sketch will be created here, a construction geometry. Then this section, I'm going to select everything and then go to mirror because we currently have here a uh, center line. It is going to create for me exactly the, the mirror that I, I would like to have. From here to here it is 8. We have an angle of 40 and height of 10 as well. This is done. Now we need a plane. White plane is selected. We go to reference geometry. We select plane. One plane is active and then we come to this point and selected point. A new plane here created. And in this new plane, I'm going to convert. This new plane, I'm going to open a sketch. Plane select sketch and then convert this. Uh, edge and then here come to curves legs and 13 is the pitch and we are going to put four and a half revolution everything seems all right and then profile and spline both selected and then we go to sweep both space and program selects for us the related objects. This is first the profile, the second is the pad. We simply say it's OK our program. We can hide helix and we look from this perspective normal to. We create here a sketch. We are going to cut our uh, thread to start this is 25 degree selected it is active and then we go extrude cut and till this point up the vertex will be then automatically selected we will repeat the same thing here on the surface a sketch and here point And then we are going to give the dimension 25 
everything all right it is selected extrude cut let's doing this way up to vertex and here we select that vertex uh, now we should give some fillet fillet is selected let's try five I'm sorry, we didn't, shouldn't select this face. It will take time, some time to understand probably what we would like to do. Let's skip first these two. Fill it. This one, and let's say four and a half. Now it is working. Yeah, this is all right as well. Chamfer, we are going to select 0 0.75. These both edges, I forget what was in my model, but I think it was a little bit smaller. 0 0.5 is good. And the rest will be chamfered as well. Let's make it now one. This surface, this edge, this edge, this edge, everything selected and chamfered. Yeah, this was all, and we completed our model. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like my video, please hit the like button and make a comment. See you in another video.